it's Sweetie Pie and welcome back to my channel. Today we are, oh my goodness, I do this a lot. Ugh, I feel like Tati. <laughs> Today we are going to talk about products I bought because of the sample size. Now some of these I got a sample from Sephora and purchased it. There's stuff flying everywhere. There's like um, products that I tried from like really small samples. I'm going to go through. I've got like six or seven of them, maybe five, six of them. I don't know. I've got some. And if you guys would like to see that, then make sure you stay tuned. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I just, I think that, you know, we would vibe together. And I think that you'd enjoy my channel. So I think you should subscribe. All right, guys, let's get into this video because it's been a long day of filming. Whew. All right, guys, so let's get started. Let's get started. We're going to start with the lip product I'm wearing. It's taken me too long. <laughs> Okay, so this started with a couple samples. The first, uh, 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 the first sample that I ever got. These are the Smashbox B Legendary Liquid. Okay, I've got. Let's see here. Does it say? Oh my goodness! What exactly are these called? These are the B Legendary Liquid Metals, and then I also have the B Legendary Liquid Pigments. Oh my goodness. So the first sample that I ever got was in Crimson Chrome. Crimson Chrome, I think it is. Crimson Chrome, good job. And like these are absolutely phenomenal. They are kind of a lip gloss formula. They're super, super shiny and I love them. So it started off with this little baby sample. Then I got a sample of the pigment, the um, liquid pigment, and I'm wiping this red beautifulness everywhere. Anyway, so yes, I got this one, and I think this one is in Bad Boss or Bad Baby. Cannot remember, but it was so pretty as well. Like, it is just this absolutely as pigmented as you could get in a lip gloss. Like, they are just full, full on pigment. So after I got those two samples, and I don't know if I regret it or not, because honestly, this whole package vault is on in Canada's, Canada's Sephora for $40. This is an amazing deal. So what you got with this vault was you got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Oh no. All right, guys, I am totally missing one out of my vault, but it's probably in my purse somewhere. Anyway, oh, yes, it is, because it's one of my favorites. Damn it. Damn it all. All right, guys, well, regardless, this is what you're going to get. Today, um, yeah, this is the Smashbox B Legendary Liquid Lip Vault. It comes with seven full-size liquid lips. I'll show a picture of it, like, in its glory because mine is not fully assembled so yeah it is beautiful guys if you like lip glosses and i mean like really pigmented lip glosses that you could wear on your own i am wearing this one right here in bad b and they're really not that bad and they don't really stick as much like as you can see there is some stickage because i have long hair but if you wear your hair up or if you, you know, if you wear your hair up, then you're not going to get any stickage. I don't know. <laughs> Wearing lip gloss and um, having long hair, not always a great thing. Oh, and the metals, like, oh my god, I would not recommend just buying these for, like, an Instagram look unless you've got the cash to. But they are beautiful. Like, oh, I'm going to try it. This one is in Petal Metal. And it is just freaking stunning. Like, look at how beautiful that is. They're so creamy, and they're just bloody pigmented. Anyway, let's get on with the next one. I just, I can't help but love that one. The next thing I wanted to talk about are, actually, you know what, we'll do two. These are two foundations. The Kat Von D, I've had about a year and a half now, and I've just kind of project panned it on my own. It's not part of my project pan, but it was about there and now I can't even see the foundation anymore. It's gone up into the tube. So I love this. I'm wearing it today. I love this for filming. I love this for taking photography. I love this for going out on like a date. Make sure that you want a full, full coverage 
foundation or you're not going to like it. I did get a sample of it and then I got another sample of it. I went to Sephora and got color matched for it and I bought it. It was the first high-end foundation I had ever purchased. This is the second one that I purchased. This is the Fenty Beauty. The reason why I purchased this is because I have wanted for forever the Becca, Becca Immaculate Skin Foundation. It's a like cream to powder foundation or liquid to powder and it is amazing. Every time they had that foundation in the samples, I have about 10 samples of it just because it's like $70 and I just never could bite the bullet but I got every sample that I could. Then I got a sample of the Fenty foundation. This is very comp comparable and has pretty much the exact same amount of coverage as the Immaculate foundation. I do still want the Immaculate foundation, but this one did help me a lot. I use this a ton while filming and it's super, super lightweight. If you have dry skin, you may not like it because it is like a liquid to powder formula. It dries very matte. I do love it. The, the, like, the coverage is there for me and I have like combination to oily skin, so it works out absolutely wonderful for me. Another small little thing that I'm pretty sure everybody has owned is the Kat Von D ink liner. I don't wear a ton of liner on my everyday basis type of deal because of course I've got to get out of the house in the morning and I, you know, I don't have that finesse. Anyway, I got a little sample of the Kat Von D and I've loved it ever since. Uh, that's the first one I bought and the only one I've bought so far and it's still running like really strong after a year of using it. I don't know if that's good, but do not judge me. All right, we've got a downer and then we've got like such an upper. This one is the Troublemaker Mascara. I got a smaller deluxe size um, in the Urban Decay Troublemaker palette. And I was like, oh, this will be so great. I'm gonna love this. This is gonna be wonderful. I don't love it. I just, I don't know, something about the wand just turns me off. And this honestly should have been in my video where I talk about the best packaging because like, oh my gosh, it's so freaking pretty. But yeah, like, I don't know what I was thinking when I was trying the mascara at first, but like, this is way too spiky of a wand for me in all honesty. So it was a bad decision. I think it was pretty whim decision-ish because I remember getting the mini and I was like, oh, this is a brand new mascara. I should review this. And it just didn't work for me. <laughs> this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I have mine in fair light, fairly light neutral. I got a sample of this and it is beautiful. I really do think that this is like literally the creaseless full coverage concealer. This is like my holy grail concealer, guys. I'm not even joking you. Oh, my bow fell off. Oh, my bow. Anyway, goodness, as I was interrupted. <laughs> this is my holy grail concealer. This concealer has got me through a lot. And honestly, like, it is thick. I will tell you that right away. It's thick, but it just tends to blend so well. Like, there's just the tiniest bit. And it's going all the way over top of that, like, swatch and everything. I love this concealer. You do have to powder it. I don't think you can get away with not powdering it. But it doesn't crease. I haven't had any creasing with it. I have used a lot of other concealers, like, through the past month or so. But I always go back to this one. I always go back to this one. All right, we're at the end of the video at my favorite part. Not, like, my end isn't the favorite part, but my favorite product. Okay, this is the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops. I got the set at Christmas that has four of the Custom Enhancer Drops. This has Moonlight, Celestial, Rose Gold, and ha uh, Halo. I don't use Halo like as much as I probably should because I'm totally into that sort of highlight. But, oh, I don't know where to swatch these. So I'm just going to... I'll swatch one of my favorites, which is Celestial, and then I will swatch Halo, and I think everyone knows by now, these are amazing. When I went to Sephora, like the actual store, which I don't go to very often, um, I got a sample of Celestial, 
and I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away by how beautiful they are on the face. All you have to do is take your beauty blender, get a little bit on your hand, and like they sheer out beautifully. Like look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at how pretty those are. Like, they're just the most metallic beautifulness ever, and I was so happy I could get them in a set because I wanted more than one. I couldn't pick just one. Anyway, guys, <sighs> I'm throwing in the towel. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed these, like, seven or eight things that I bought because of the samples. And, yeah, guys, tell me, do you guys want me to do a It's On Sale, Is It Worth It with the uh, Be Legendary Lip Vault? I think I've ran this thing, you know, through the mud, and I think I will put an Instagram post up for you guys so that you can be aware that it is on sale in Canada if you are wanting it. And yeah, guys, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. And um, yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Yeah, Laura Lee. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you guys so, so much. Bye.